Uh, I, I, the, so the phrase is a, a one woman man, or it could be translated a husband of one wife, because man means husband and woman means wife. They, they could be translated either way. I take it to, that phrase to mean a faithful uh, man, a faithful to his spouse. Uh, so I don't think that means you have to be married to be an elder. Um, if for no other reason than the example of Christ and the teaching of Paul in 1 Corinthians 7, where Paul extols singleness as advantageous to the gospel ministry. So I don't think that um, single men are excluded from eldership or pastor or the pastorate. I just think it would it would have been extremely uncommon in those days for someone to be uh, single is probably why Paul cites that. As far as a divorced uh, man, I, I, I don't think that text can be used that way because if you're taking it in a literal sense of a, a divorced man, I assume by that we mean a divorced and remarried man. Uh, in that case, then you would also, I think by the same logic, have to exclude someone who is widowed and remarried because a widowed and remarried man also is not the husband of one wife, literally. So if it's either literal or it's figurative, I, I think it's figurative and it means a faithful, faithful husband. Yeah.